year's Rugby World Cup kicks off in Japan in just under one month and Africa will be represented by South Africa and Namibia. In South Africa, the sports was traditionally seen as a white sport, but that is beginning to change. Brian Habana was one of five black players in the squad when they won the Webb Ellis Cup in 2007. He says, though a lot has been done, there's still room for improvement. I think first and foremost, you know, one needs to understand that South Africa is probably a country with the most unique history that no other rugby playing or sporting, you know, participating nation potentially has to deal with, you know. And, you know, one looks at the apartheid era where rugby was, you know, seen as a very predominantly white sport. And you know, I think we've come a long way since that. You know, 2007, you had the likes of myself, JP Peterson, you know, Wayne Julius, Ashwin Willemse, Enrico January, um, players of colour really coming to the fore and, and trying to make a difference. What would you say has been the effort made to close the gap in terms of diversity? To look back in 2018 and see Sia Khaleesi become the first black South African to captain the Springboks, you know, run out in front of that team at Ellis Park, which is probably one of the most iconic rugby stadiums in the world, and assimilate to something that happened back in 1995 where, you know, the late, great Nelson Mandela, you know, walked out onto Ellis Park with that number six Springbok jersey on his back and handed that cup called Bill to Francois Pina. And yes, our country's still got a long way to go. I think there's been a lot tried to improve transformation to try and include everyone from all races all you know shapes and form um, male female you know black white I think our country's you know potentially got a long way to go but you know that moment seeing Sia run out there and, and do something special was not only an incredibly proud moment for all of us as South Africans but I think an incredibly symbolic moment you know of how much our rugby can actually progress and again if that's the starting point you know one really looks forward to seeing what the end is going to be. In terms of the public perception of um, rugby and of course the Springbok you look at the women's side I mean they've qualified for the 2021 World Cup in New Zealand and when you go around you see the fans singing black, white, the vast African culture, you hear all of them singing for the Springbok women's side. Does that really reflect how much you guys have done in terms of, you know, improving and spreading the sport around? Incredibly proud moment for us South Africans, knowing that our women have achieved such greatness. An incredibly proud moment for the game of rugby for women. Um, I think seeing the phenomenal growth uh, from a women's rugby perspective over the last three, four years has been absolutely incredible.